meteorologist Steve Jervy. Wow, some intense moments in Lakeland today to rescue an injured pelican on Lake Morton. The bird is now on its way to Bush Gardens to get better. Our Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joins us live with the story. Stacy, uh, you saw it all from start to finish. I don't know what I was looking at right there, but it looked pretty frightening for a moment serious. for the bird. <laughs> It was intense, and we'll show you all about it in a, here in a couple seconds. We know Lakeland is a place that treasures their birds, and not just swans. This little guy needed some help. We were here when the rescuers came and found it. It had a wire going right through its neck. It was just kind of hanging there. They had to wait for it to get the exact right spot to cast their net, and it was quite a show when it happened. I have stalked a bird for six hours. Clyde Claus has the patience and the wisdom it takes to net sick and injured birds. He's had a lot of practice. I would prefer for it to be on this side of the wall because the net will be on this side of it and the wall on the other side of it, so it will trap him in the net on this side. He takes careful steps along the shores of Lake Morton, sees his target get in the right spot, and <laughs> fires off the net. After a jump in the lake and a lot of hustle, success. I got him. Some pelican bites just part of the job. Claus's mark was this pelican, a male with a wire right through its neck. It's a bale for a bucket. Locals in the area spotted the injured pelican and shared it on Facebook. Photographer Michael Mookie Wilson made some calls and got in contact with Claus and Lynn Sablo to get this guy some help. Love the earth, love the environment, like to protect it. The pelican appears to be unbothered by the wire, but experts worry it could get infected or get snagged on something. He won't have to worry about that anymore. I can't explain the feeling it gives you, and when anytime somebody rescues a bird, I always try to let them release it because you have to feel it. You can't tell anybody or describe it. You just get addicted and hooked on it. It was just absolutely incredible to watch. I had my mouth, my hand over my mouth for a good two minutes when it happened. The pelican is now on his way to Bush Gardens for surgery. Then he'll go to rehab before rejoining his flock here before they migrate north for the summer. This mission, though, had its challenges. Hear about all those coming up at 6. Live in Lakeland, Stacey De Silva, 8 on your side. Max Defender, the most advanced weather.